Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on statistics. In this video, we'll be looking at mean deviation, standard deviation, and variance of ungrouped data. So we look at the formulae for mean deviation, standard deviation, and variance of ungrouped data. First, we start with mean deviation. This is equal to summation of x minus x bar over n where x is the mean of the distribution and n is the total population of the distribution also standard deviation is equal to square root of summation of x minus x bar squared over n we have our variance as equal to summation of x minus x bar squared over n and we recall that the mean is summation of x over n. So we still remember our n is the total population. So these are the formulae we are going to be using in this video. Now we start with a problem. So we have the problem here. This course out of 10 of students in a test are given as 2, 1, 4, 8, 6, 7, 5, 9, 0, and 3. Calculate the mean deviation, standard deviation, and variance of the scores. So we start with the solution of this problem. Um, we need to present our work in a tabular form. So we have the table here where the first column here is representing the X and our X are the scores of the students. So we have a 2, 1, 4, 8, 6, 7, 5, 9, 0, and 3. First and foremost, we have to calculate the mean that is x bar which is summation of x over n so it means we are going to sum up all the scores so summing up all the scores 2 plus 1 3 7 15 21 28 33 42 and 45 so the sum of the scores is 45 so which means summation of x is 45 and our n is 10 we have 10 students there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so our n is 10 substituting into the formula we have it as equal to 45 over 10 and 45 over 10 is 4.5 so the mean score is 4.5. Now we go ahead to solve mean deviation. We just abbreviate it as MD is equal to, you still remember our formula, summation of absolute value of X minus X bar. This absolute value means the positive difference, okay? Anyway, we will see it on our table. So the next column we are going to have is x minus x bar. So we have x minus x bar, which means this x minus our mean. So 2 minus 4.5 is negative 2.5. 1 minus 4.5 gives negative 3.5. 4 minus 4.5 gives negative 0 0.5 8 minus 4.5 gives 3.5 6 minus 4.5 gives 1.5 7 minus 4.5 gives 2.5 5 minus 4.5 gives 0 0.5 9 minus 4.5 gives 4.5 0 minus 4.5 gives negative 4.5 and finally 3 minus 4.5 gives negative 1.5 you know i told you 
this is just x minus x bar taking the positive difference and the negative difference into consideration now we need the absolute value now which will give us the next column which is absolute value of x minus x bar all the negative values will be returned as positive values so that here now we have negative 2.5 now will be returned as 2.5 negative 3.5 will be returned as 3.5 negative 0.5 will be returned as 0.5 3.5, 1.5, 2.5, 0.5, 4.5, and negative 4.5 will be returned as 4.5. And finally, negative 1.5 is returned as 1.5. That is the meaning of the absolute value of x minus x bar. So we now sum them up. So summing them up, we have it as. 25. We can quickly sum it up. This is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So from the decimal part, we have 5. So 6, 10, 14, 16, 17, 20, 23 plus 2, giving us the 25. So you have it there. Then we now substitute into the formula of mean deviation the summation of x minus x bar gives 25 so we have our mean deviation as 25 over 10 you see remember how we got the 10 the population of the students in the distribution is 10 so 25 over 10 gives 2.5 which gives the mean deviation of the scores. So we then go for standard deviation. So going for standard deviation, we still remember our formula as square root of summation of x minus x bar squared over n. So we are going to square x minus x bar, then sum them up, substitute into the formula. So that's our next column, x minus x bar squared. This is x minus x bar squaring it, or you can just square this. Anyone will still give you the correct answer. So negative 2.5 squared gives 6.25. Negative 3.5 gives 12.25. Negative 0 0.5 squared gives 0 0.25. 3.5 squared gives 12.25, 1.5 squared gives 2.25, 2.5 squared gives 6.25, 0 0.5 squared gives 0 0.25, 4.5 squared gives 20.25, negative 4.5 squared gives 20.25, and finally negative 1.5 squared gives 2.25. So we can sum this one up again, and that will give us 82.5. That is summation of x minus x bar squared is 82.5. Substituting into the formula, we have the standard deviation to be equal to square root of 82.5 over 10. If you press your calculator, our answer for the standard deviation is 2.8. Eight, seven. So that is all for standard deviation. We then go for variance. So the variance of these scores is going to be summation of x minus x bar squared all over n. It's just as good as squaring this. It is as good as squaring the standard deviation. And we have already gotten our summation of x minus x bar squared to be equal to 82.5 all over 10. Our n still remain 10. So from here now, we have our answer as 8.25, which is the variance of the scores. This is the highest we are taking on this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. 
and remember to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the playlist containing all the videos on statistics, group data, on group data, mean, median, mode, both for group data and on group data. Also, we have range. Thank you for watching. Until we come your way again, goodbye.